Here, I'm going to show you two simple ways to avoid merged cells. Merged cells cause all sorts of trouble in Excel, and it's best to avoid them. Here we have two right here, parts and manufacturer. Often it's used just to make your spreadsheet look a little bit better, but it gets in the way of so many other things that we do, sorting and filtering, and formulas being two of them. So how do we avoid it? Well, first of all, don't merge your cells. Then go to the cell on the far left that you would have merged, input the text that you want, go to the Home tab, and right here, Increase Indent. And click that guy as much as you want until it looks how you want. The cells will look merged, but they won't be merged. We can still input values into B if we want to, and if we double click A, we're going to see the text that we input there. We can edit that as we want. Everything is good, and we have not merged the cells. Just click the cell with the text, and indent, and you're good to go. The second way to do it is input the text in the far left cell, select all the cells that you would have merged, right click, Format Cells, Alignment Tab, Horizontal, and go from General to Center Across Selection. Okay, and there you go. We are still free to do whatever we want with B and A. It's just a nicer way, or depending on what you're doing, a nicer way to center everything across the cell. So right click, Format Cells, Alignment Tab, Horizontal, Center Across Selection. Personally, I prefer the indent method. This doesn't always work if one column is much bigger than the other column, but either way, you can either indent the text or center across selection and avoid merged cells. That's all there is for this tutorial. If you like how I teach, make sure to check out all of my courses on teachexcel.com. I'll put a link to them below this video. And if you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you can get all of my future tutorials.